up what's up everyone it's princess here so hope he you need it and before i delve into my off the cuff episode i just want to say each and every time thank you so much for each and every person who watches listens follows subscribed all that good jazz and um if this is your first time watching a video of mine welcome thank you so much for tuning in but um this this video i just want to touch on um the light of america so what happened yesterday in texas where 19 and counting children and two teachers were gunned down by an 18 year old um and then last tuesday a gunman entered a church in california i think he ended up killing one person and a couple other people were injured and before that tuesday last week the saturday before um the talks occurrence where the guy i think he was also 18 walked into the grocery store in buffalo new york and shot and killed 10 people read a headline yesterday or either this morning that yesterday's mass shooting was the 30th so far in 2022 2022 so so far this year there has been 30 mass shootings i'm going to go back and do my research to see exactly how many um times or who all played a part in those mass shootings but i will bet very strongly that a good portion of those mass shootings were committed by white men as they usually are you got a sprinkle here and there of someone of a different race different ethnicity that might commit such an atrocious act but it's usually you know white guys yesterday's killing i i do believe was uh, a young hispanic male i'm not 100 certain but i i do believe it was a young hispanic male just based off his name but I say all this to say, you know, the sad part, even worse than the killings, is I believe in some way, somehow, it, all of these mass shootings could be avoided. Yeah, they like to they like to put mental illness on the people involved in these killings. I don't think I don't think that's the case. Yes, some people get angry and they snap. And some people, when they snap, they do things that they normally would not have done if you know if they were in any other emotional state. That does not equal mental illness. Mental illness is an ongoing issue where the mind is not thinking logically, and the person who is having these um abnormal thoughts whether it be towards themselves or against someone else but those people who are having those abnormal thoughts don't just experience it in just that moment and then it goes away no people with mental illness have a repeating occurrence of mental abnormalities mental thoughts and um lingerings that stay you know it's not something that comes today or at the moment spur of the moment and then it just goes away um i think a lot of the people who commit these mass murders are just filled with evil just evil the hate whether that be self-hate or just the racial hate you know um like the guy on saturday who targeted the, the Topps grocery store on purpose with intent with intent to harm people who were black um, but for the most part I think it's just evil and I think that too is why so the Democrats and the Republicans now 
are at heads again because of this gun policy, right? So they, they had a meeting this morning um, and they are again at war, at war over what is easy access and what isn't easy access, who should and who shouldn't have guns and um, the mental illness factor, quote unquote mental illness factor. So I think one of the main reasons why Republicans refuse to implement gun laws is because number one, they know that majority of the people who have guns, own guns, are white, predominantly white males. And I also know that they know and believe that the main people who use guns are also white males. And also number three, the main people who commit mass killings are also white males. Oh, and number four, four. The companies that run these gun manufacturers, the CEOs, the big boys, the head honchos are also white. Oh yeah, number five. The lobbyists, the people who fight for these gun laws, the people who fight for the right for people. I'm not against you having a gun for your protection. I'm not against that because I have one. But when it comes to who has the gun, who uses the gun, and how the gun is used, yeah, that's where the problem right there lies. But this number five, the lobbyists, guess who they are? Predominantly white men. So you see how those plans play? And Republicans, the majority of the Republican Party, who make up the Republican Party, Senate, Congress, House, So I'll let y'all figure it out. But therein lies the problem. It's hard to control the masses when the masses are, is you most of the time. It's hard to control the masses when the masses is you. You want to give yourself what you want. You want to give yourself exactly what you want, how you want it, when you want it, where you want it. It don't matter what no one else says or how anyone else feels. So those people who have issues as to why the gun laws has not changed, will not change, will not change. And why there's always this continuous debate about how society should utilize guns and gun access. That's why it's not going to change. Those five, one, two, three, four, five. Probably more. But those are the first five. Primary. Five. Think about it. So, I say that all that to say too. My heart goes out to the families, both at times. I did create a video, and I'm gonna post it one day. But I think I was filled with a little bit more emotion I, uh, when I did the video for the tops um, massacre. <clears throat> and now this massacre of the children and. You know, I have a son, my, my oldest right now is in third grade. And I, you know, reading the articles, seeing the faces of the children, third and fourth graders who lost their lives in this senseless, senseless act of anger. Whatever this kid was angry about. Because it was clearly, he was just mad about something. He killed his grandma. He shot his grandma first. I don't know, grandma set him off this morning. He didn't get the right kind of cereal. She wouldn't give him iron his pants for before school. I don't know what the issue was, but somebody say dude off, right? But the babies that died, I could not help but to picture my child, a third grader, in a situation like that. And my heart breaks for those families. Um, and all you can do is pray. All you can do is hope that one day, someday, things like this will end. But I'm gonna tell you, until the faces of those in control, leading the group, and the faces of these down here, that's filled with the evil, filled with the hate, filled with the anger, filled with the, the ideology that they um, are entitled, they have the right to do whatever that they do until the faces of those people change the look 
the color, whatever y'all want to call it, until that changes, it ain't gonna change. It's not gonna change. America is gonna be America because this is how America was built. This is how America was founded. It was founded on blood. It was founded on hate. It was founded and built on murder. It was founded and built on massacres. It was founded and built on destruction. It was founded and built on any and everything that goes against love, peace, unity, equality, equal justice. Not just justice, but equal and fair justice. This country was founded on everything that goes against those things and more. All the positive good things. This country was founded on and has always been controlled by the same faces of people who is tearing it down today. So that's my story. That's my off the cuff rant. And until next time, I hope that you all, um, this is not an episode to be enjoyed. It's, it, it, this is a very unfortunate um sad episode you wish and hope and pray that it changes and get better but when evil controls when evil is in power the only thing that's going to change it is love but it's going to start with changing the faces of those that are in the power of evil so until next time my lovelies always remember be bold, be unique, be true to yourself, and know that it is always a-okay to be so opinionated.